Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. We're coming at you from the Bell Smith Recreation Area, the, the Red Redbud Campground in the Shawnee National Forest. And we are in the very bottom of Illinois. And so I will tell you the major city we're near, but there's no <laughs> one. <laughs> And um, that is something about this little campground. I got to tell you, there are 22 sites, I believe. Um, and as we were coming here, um, <laughs> you know how things cross your mind of, I hope we're not the only ones there. <laughs> Um, and Nobody's going to drive this far <laughs> to get to a campground without water and electric. And uh, it is a recreation area, and I believe it's a national preserve as well because of the different uh, features that are out here. There's a natural bridge, and I'll be honest, I'll show you part of the hike to the natural bridge. And then I just tapped out. Uh -huh. um, I was going down there by myself, and when I got to about... Uh, it looked like a good two flight of just rock steps stairway going down between these boulders. Uh, I thought, you know, it just one misstep and yeah, and things aren't going to turn out so well. But a lot of people out there hike in those places. And so uh, what I did read at one place was hiking around the bottom of the bluffs is a piece of cake. It's just getting to the bottom. <laughs> Uh, but there are a couple of places, a couple of trailheads yes. out here, and uh, they're in use. And yeah. the campground. And you saw a nice picnic area that was just a short walk. Right. Uh, the campground, like Marlena said, has no water, electric, or sewer. It has water. At the campsites, yes, it, does. it does not have water, electric, or sewer. It does have uh, vault toilets. The water, though, you pump. You got to work for <laughs> it. And... Um, and so that's been, uh, we have, it's water. And so, uh, so far we have added 16 gallons to our uh, freshwater tank. And we know that because we have uh, eight gallon. one gallon yes. jugs. And so we've gone over and filled those a couple of times. And uh, we will fill them at least once, once more. more. Yeah, before, before we, we leave. leave. Probably, yeah, at least once, yeah. maybe twice. Yeah. Um, just so we have that extra water with us. But that's nice. I mean, it's here, and yes. there is trash service here. So, uh, And it does cost. It does have a fee, yes. It's $10, but with Mylena's pass, we are getting it is for 5 bucks a night. And our concerns as we were coming across here, about we got no one here, being here, and about half the sites were full on a Thursday, a Thursday. night. Yeah. And then last night, every site was yes. full. This is the Columbus Day weekend, and so uh, a few people have left today, but I have a feeling those sites will fill up again yes. tonight. We are the only RV here right now. Yes, uh, there, there is, is a, van, a van. But we are the only RV. But our site could easily accommodate something at least 10 feet longer, yes. maybe 15. Yes. Uh, and so there are some sites that will accommodate uh, will accommodate RVs if you're comfortable Large backing. Large RVs. And so uh, this is a gorgeous little campground, and the parts of the trails that I've gotten out and hiked <clears throat> have been beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, there, if it, you if you're running low on gas. Uh, we're in a state that uses ethanol. We love our ethanol. <laughs> Texas is the state down. that we're in that... Yeah. yeah. Uh, there are some states that don't, and some cities that don't, and nowhere around here, I think they don't use ethanol. Yeah, the, the parts of Illinois, and you've seen, we just, this bottom little, but everywhere we've seen, they seem to have no ethanol, which is great for, you know, small engines, et cetera, and it's best for your car, but that's not what we do. <laughs> it is what I do for the generator, but not what I do for the car. Um, so, if you're concerned about having enough gas to get here, go ahead, if you're coming through Vienna, go ahead and fill up. You're only paying like less than 10 cents a gallon more than you would in, in the big or, city of Harrisburg. Yeah, Marion or, yeah, whatever little towns you're coming through. If there's, uh, because you are going to drive a ways. Yes. Uh, <laughs> when we came from, my language said Vienna. Uh, we had to go six miles before we turned, and then I think we had another 
425. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's smaller roads. It was not that far. Once you turn into the forest, though, the Forest Service Road, I guess, is it's not really a Forest Service Road like we've seen out west. No. But uh, it was a good road. I mean, it was at parts it was paved, at parts it's gravel, but it no concerns no. about the road at all. It was two miles. Uh, to get across here. I know it, it, <laughs> it felt, felt a little bit longer when you're just coming out here and you don't know where you're headed to. Um, but guys, I got to tell you, tent camping is fun. And I have heard yes. more little kids out yes. running and having a ball and seeing little bicycles out. <laughs> and uh, and we did have a ranger stop by yes, yesterday. Yes, we did. Uh, we had, we had, the... had a campfire and the generator was running. But the campfire had really gotten down to where yes. it was just kind of smoldering, but we had the generator running. And we had gone in to have lunch. And, and he stopped to make sure somebody he was here. <laughs> and so that that did me good to see that there really are uh, patrols, rangers that patrol this. And the headquarters for the National Forest is in Harrisburg, I yes. believe. And so it's that was 15 miles away, I think. So, uh, yeah, if you forget something, you're not going to just run down to, you know, a mile or two to pick something up. But this is very quiet. Uh, something we didn't mention in our video about the Mark Twain National Forest, the campground we were in there, just two-tenths of the mile off of Highway 60, you actually could hear some traffic right. at night. It wasn't, it didn't bother me, but you could hear, here, you ain't going to hear nothing. No. I mean, you got crickets. <laughs> Uh, there are no lights uh, at all, and uh, so it's dark. <laughs> it is dark, and it's gorgeous, and the fall colors are just coming in, and uh, this is stop three on yes. our October in the Ozarks. Uh, Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge was one. And Mark I'm Twain not National sure Forest was two. that Illinois is actually in the Ozarks, but... Well, this little section of it, we're going to say it is. <laughs> and, um, we're going to stretch those arts in Indiana. We are. We're going to just go on and take it in there. Uh, but anyway. It's, it's beautiful. It's fall, and it's feeling like it's it's cooler. And Yeah, now I will tell you that uh, we are not getting that much solar here because we are... It, in it's, a forest. <laughs> we are really in a forest. And uh, th we stayed in National Forest, I mean, Dixie National Forest yes. when we were at Bryce. Uh, we've stayed in forests before where there was a big enough patch of clearing that yes. we could really get some solar. But there's not much clearing here. There's just, this campground has like none. It's gorgeous. We get what we can and the trails are great. Um, it's kind of fun pumping our water. I think after, you know, a week or so that would get old, or, but... Or after a gallon or two. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tom, this is fun. Uh, that's from Tom Sawyer about whitewashing a fence. But, we were um, thinking about the Mark Twain National. Yeah, Tom yeah, Sawyer. we were. Um, I came home, though. I had gotten water by myself the first night, and I got to tell you, it was a challenge because when you stop pumping, the water stops coming. So I you realized... You the pump again. I, I've got to keep this going for these eight gallons. And then I got back and said, boy, I had so much fun. I can hardly wait to share it with you. <laughs> but I've read Tom saw you too. And I said, Tom, you lying to me. <laughs> well, anyway, this is a beautiful place. And we realize it's a place that many people are not going to come out and find. I think there are an awful lot of local people here. Uh, matter of fact, yesterday I saw a Tennessee tag at one of the trailheads. Mm -hmm. And today we saw an Indiana tag at one of the trailheads, but everybody else is Illinois, yeah. the, the, <laughs> the license plates that I've seen. And I think they're all thinking, you brought an RV. <laughs> From Texas? <laughs> but it's beautiful. We're having a great time, and I'm glad we made this a stop. And because this is uh, Columbus Day weekend, yes. we actually added a night here. Uh, we'd been <sighs> in Missouri and it planned to be there four nights, but decided, you know what, with it being a holiday weekend, let's go on. Uh, we weren't sure that we would get a site here. And then as we started driving here, we weren't sure anybody else would be here. <laughs> and turned out, but we're we glad were we came. thrilled we came on Thursday instead of waiting. Because, like we said last night, it was full. But this is a gorgeous little place. We're having a great time, and uh, we are getting ready to head to... 
the Ozarks in Indiana. <laughs> We're going to hit the Ozarks in Kentucky before we get through with this. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> we are having a good time. We hope you'll come along with us. Because not everybody knows there are Ozarks in Indiana. Mm -hmm. So, you learned something. That's right. right. We are teachers. <laughs> oh, we just make things up as we go along. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, we'll see if we can find out any more about that, if it's true or not. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired Teachers. <laughs>